Hey there, comic book fans. I'm Jai Anderson. I just watched episode 20 of The Flash, and it was okay. Zoom's back on Earth-1, and it's apparent that Barry needs his speed back. But before I go any further, keep in mind I'm going to be going through key plot points from the episode. So if you haven't seen it yet, here is your spoiler warning. And there it goes. Now, as I just alluded to, Zoom's back on Earth-1 upon Caitlin's very literal request to go back home, which was very reminiscent to me of that scene from The Dark Knight where Heath Ledger's Joker drops Rachel Jaws out the window upon Batman's request to let her go. Which is kind of confusing to me what Zoom's endgame actually is, because it seems like he wants to win over Caitlin and does things she says like spare Barry or spare the police officers in this episode. But at the end of the day, it just seems like he wants to declare his dominance and ends up killing those same police officers later in the episode. It's a little murky at the moment. I just hope that they clear it up by the end of the season. Then we see Cisco and Barry using a hologram of the flesh to keep the better humans and criminals at bay while he still doesn't have his speed, which I think was a good alternative from the great action set pieces that we normally see when the flesh has his powers, given the fact that we're not there at the moment. Then we have the reintroduction of Henry Allen, who is kind of the voice of reason for Barry to not recreate the particle accelerator explosion, but by the end of the episode, he ends up doing it anyway, kind of making the reintroduction of the character kind of mute. The only character relationship I really bought into was the Dante and Cisco relationship. I really felt that these were two brothers that still were at odds with each other and I think they're going to reconnect now and we'll see their relationship progress probably in season 3. We're also introduced to Dante's doppelganger Rapture who had a very cool design and I really liked his scythe but he went down way too easily and was just a clear henchman for Zoom. Then we have Iris confessing her love to Barry, which in my opinion seemed kind of random because yes, they hint that recreating the particle accelerator explosion is dangerous and it can kill him, but you don't really feel the weight of it until after he decides he's actually going to do it. I think they should have had this scene after he makes that decision because they do it before that and it just seems very random. Then we see Wally and Jesse getting hit with the waves from the particle accelerator explosion, clearly giving them speed force powers, which means we're going to see the comic book incarnations of Wally West's Flash and Jesse Quick. And I think they're definitely going to play a role in the season finale versus Zoom, but they'll have a very significant role in the season as a whole in season three. And finally, we have the apparent death of Barry Allen, which in my opinion would have been very bold to kill off the main character of your series and would have alleviated that confusion between Ezra Miller's Flash and Grant Gustin's Flash, but obviously they're not going to do that. And as the promo suggests, he's in some sort of alternate dimension, which we'll have to wait until next episode to get a full understanding on that. So that's my thoughts on episode 20. If you guys like this video, be sure to share and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook at John Ryan Anderson or on Instagram and Twitter at The Comic Look. And remember guys, as always, comics do deserve a second look.